Warzone Ranked represents the competitive pinnacle within the immersive realm of Call of Duty's Battle Royale experience, where players engage in intense battles against others of similar skill, aiming to ascend through increasingly challenging divisions to achieve the highest rank, Iridescent, requiring a fusion of exceptional individual skill, strategic finesse, teamwork, and unwavering determination to triumph over an abundant field flooded with adept adversaries. Navigating this treacherous journey to the esteemed iridescent rank has proven to be a challenge that only the best teams in the world can overcome. But I'm here to defy those odds. This notion that you need a team of exceptional talent to reach the highest level of competitive Warzone is only justified by the absence of someone who has accomplished this goal. And over the past two months, I've endeavored to solo queue into Warzone ranked and become the first person in history to make it to Iridescent without a team. And while I know that the odds are stacked against me, I am determined to prove that I'm one of the best players in the world by overcoming what seems like an impossible journey. So at this point, there's really only one question. Do you want to join me in making history or do you want to sit on the sidelines with all of the other naysayers? Take two, what's going on, baby? It's your boy BZ, and we're back with a banger. Now, for those of you guys that have been tuning into my channel for the past couple of weeks, especially since World Series of Warzone, you guys know that I've been grinding my butt off trying to make it to Iridescent by myself. This is by far the hardest challenge I've ever had to do in Warzone, and I'm excited to be sharing this experience with every single one of you. And over the course of the next couple of weeks, I want to break down exactly what it took for me to get from bronze to gold, platinum to diamond, and crimson to iridescent. But before we get into that, I think it's important for us to understand the foundations of how you actually rank up in Warzone. Warzone's ranking system has been organized into seven slash eight tiers. Bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, crimson, iridescent, and for the people who have the highest SR rankings out of everyone in the world, they are listed into the top 250 category. Now, there are currently four ways that you can earn SR every time that you queue into a match. You essentially gain SR for getting placement, kills, assists, or kills by your squad. Now, I don't think it's important for me to detail how many points you get at each stage in the game. It's all pretty self-explanatory. But for me to get from bronze to gold, my game plan was relatively simple. Frag the fuck out and ignore my teammates that didn't have a microphone. When you are playing in bronze, silver, or gold lobbies, you have to understand you can literally just stay alive until halfway through the game and you will automatically go positive. Not only was the entry fee incredibly cheap, but the skill levels of the people in these lobbies were so horrendous that my viewers honestly started to believe I was using a VPN. Now, contrary to what many may believe, but the start of this journey wasn't all tickles and pop tarts. There were numerous instances where I would die to the undefeatable master that we all know was caught timing, and this would set me back every few games or so. Or my personal favorite, I would attempt to work with my teammates to have an enjoyable game overall together, only to be thrown under the rug the second things go south. <laughs> I can't fucking believe it. What? I can't we fucking will believe it. The score. What? No, I can't believe it either. Give me the fuck out of here. I'm blaming, I'm blaming my teammate right there. Probably your dog shit. And who knows? Maybe he's right. Maybe I am dog shit. But I'll never be as bad as he is. And the craziest part is that's not even the worst of it. There's some unwritten rule that when you typically first create a new Activision account, there's like a trial period that you have, where if a player is excelling in any of the easiest lobbies they start playing in, they're put on an unofficial watch list, where if you perform at a certain level for an extended period of time, you automatically get shadow banned. The hardest part about this journey was the fact that I got shadow banned not once, not twice, but three times on two separate accounts, which held me back at least two to four weeks. Still teams over this, uh, over this hill. Let's get killed today, all right? Moving here. Yo, Francisco, what's up, baby? Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. And because I hit these major roadblocks, I need to give a huge shout out to my firstborn daughter, Markeisha, because she allowed me to take her account completely, change her name, get it shadow banned twice, also I can start my solo queue journey for content. Now, there is so much more about this journey that I want to explain to you guys, but I got to save it for the next episodes. Now, if you want to see me make it to Iridescent Live and join the journey to making history, make sure that you hit the subscribe button with notifications because I'm streaming on YouTube, Kick, and TikTok every single day at around 8 p.m. Eastern. And to finish off episode one, I know I have to leave you guys off in a banger. So I want to show you guys the last couple of minutes of a game that I had that was actually my rank up game from gold to platinum. Unfortunately, at some point in this game, both of my teammates had died and I just made the judgment called not to go for the res i had enough money but the buy station was packed so i just thought i would camp it out and start playing for placement i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video i look forward to seeing you in the next one and as usual peace and blessings
There are 24 enemies active. Kill them all. Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. I'm looking go behind these guys. Pretty sure you guys know I'm here. I'm just gonna play it safe on the low ground. I'm not gonna make any crazy rotations or like that. Just hold it down. I still have a Dury, so I can make some plays if I need to late game. Right now, I just play for top five. You're cleared hot. Copy that. Longbow 3 1 is on station. Strike inbound. Impact, no hits. Just stop somebody back here. Throw me off. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What? I didn't see him. Inbound. Safe zone relocated. No way, there's...